Stop struggling with Excel. Unlock seven powerful tips and tricks to skyrocket your productivity and transform the way you work. Let's jump in. How to count unique values based on criteria in Excel. To count unique values based on a specific condition, we can combine the filter, unique, and count of functions. In the items column, we want to find all items where the size is small. First, we'll use the filter function. The first argument is the array select C5 to C25. The second argument is the include condition. Here, select the size column and set the criteria. Size equal medium. Press enter and Excel will return all matching items. Next, step two. Copy the previous formula paste here. To remove duplicates, wrap the results inside the unique function. This function returns only the unique values from the filtered range. Press Enter to get the unique list. Finally, to count how many unique values we have, use Counta. When you want to count the number unique values, Counta is the correct choice. Now we can see that there are four unique values based on this criterion. We created a fully dynamic dropdown that automatically updates its list based on the selected size, ensuring the options always reflect the latest filtered data. Now that unique values are clear, let's continue to the next topic. Workbook navigation. Next, let's look at another useful copy and paste trick. Here, we have a table of contents sheet that contains clickable image tiles for each sheet in the workbook. When we click one of these images, it takes me directly to that sheet. And the best part is that it's dynamic. As the data in the sheets changes, the image tiles update automatically. Let me show you how to set this up. On this sheet, we have a pivot table and a chart. First, select all the cells that contain the information you want to display. Then press Ctrl plus C to copy. Now go back to the Table of Contents sheet. Right-click, choose Paste Special, and then select Linked Picture. This will paste a picture that stays linked to the original sheet. You can move the image to the correct position on your dashboard and resize it as needed. Next, we'll make the image clickable. Right-click the picture. Choose Link. Select Place in this document. Pick the sheet you want it to open and click OK. Now the image becomes a clickable tile that takes you straight to that sheet. Since it's a linked picture, any changes you make to the original sheet will automatically update the image. For example, if we change the bar color in this chart to bright color, and then return to the table of contents, you'll see the image has updated. Because this is a picture, you can also format it. Right-click to select, go to Picture Format, use Crop to match the size of your other tiles, and add a light color border to match the style of your dashboard. Now that workbook navigation are clear, let's continue to the next topic. Calculations with Paste Special. You can perform calculations in Excel without using any formulas. Here we have a table showing profit by customer and year. And hopefully, you notice this right away, the profit values are clearly wrong. We earned much more than this. These numbers are nowhere close. In fact, the real profit is probably at least 10 times higher. So, let's say we want to increase all these values by 10 times. How can we do that? One way is to type a formula equal this value into 10, then copy the formula across the entire table. But that takes unnecessary time and extra clicks. There's a much faster way using Paste Special. Enter the number 10 in any cell. Copy that cell. Control plus C. Highlight all the profit values in the table. Go to Home, Paste, Paste Special. In the Paste Special dialog box, you'll see several operations. Add adds a number to every selected cell. Subtract subtracts from each cell. Divide 
divides each cell. Since we want everything to be 10 times larger, choose Multiply, then click OK. Excel instantly multiplies every value in the table by 10. Even faster shortcut, instead of going through the ribbon every time, there's a quicker method. Copy the number 10 again. Highlight all the profit values. Press Ctrl plus Alt plus V. This opens the Paste Special dialog instantly. Select Multiply and click OK. That's all it takes. And honestly, these numbers still look a little low, so maybe we should multiply everything by an even larger number to reflect our true profit. Now that special paste with calculations are clear, let's continue to the next topic. Writing formulas. This tip can save you a lot of time when writing formulas. Here, we need to calculate the average of the amount cost column. We'll type equal average. Now, we need to select all the numbers. Dragging with the mouse alone takes seconds to reach the last row. Instead of doing that, here's a faster way using keyboard shortcuts. Type equal average. Select the first cell press control plus shift plus down arrow. This instantly selects all the way to the bottom of the data all rows. Now press enter and the formula is done. Now, one common challenge you might face is when your data contains blank cells. For example, in this data set, we have a few empty rows. So again, let's start by typing equals average. Press control plus shift plus down arrow. We'll stop at the first blank cell. Instead, use troll plus shift plus end. This selects data all the way to the last used cell. Also selects columns to the right. To fix that, hold shift press the left arrow key. Keep pressing left arrow until only one column is selected. When your data is in an Excel table, if your data is inside an Excel table, equal average, select the first cell press, control plus space. This selects the entire column called the data body range. Mouse method. Hover the mouse over the column header until the down arrow appears and click to select the entire column. Now that writing formulas are clear, let's continue to the next topic. Navigation trick. Here's a simple navigation trick that many people don't know. To jump to the bottom of the sheet, hover your mouse over the border of the active cell until the cursor changes into a crosshair. Then, double-click the bottom border to instantly move to the last used cell in that column. To move to the far right, hover over the right border of the cell and double-click. This quickly takes you to the last used column. You can use this trick to navigate your sheet much faster. If you want to select everything from top to bottom, hold the Shift key and double-click the border. This selects the entire range instantly. Keep in mind, if your sheet has blank cells, this works the same way as the press control plus shift plus down arrow. It stops at the last non-blank cell before the gap. If that happens, just double click again to continue. This is a quick, handy shortcut for people who prefer using the mouse instead of keyboard shortcuts. Now that navigation trick. Are clear? Let's continue to the next topic. Secret dates hack. Now let's look at a secret hack to clean up dates. This column looks like it contains dates, but these are not real dates in Excel. There are a few easy ways to identify this. First, if filters are enabled, click the filter drop-down. Normally, real dates are grouped by month and year. If they are not grouped this way, it means they are not real dates. To fix this, first select all the cells. You can do this by holding the Shift key and using the double-click shortcut. Next, Press Ctrl plus H on your keyboard to open the Find and Replace window. In the Find What box, type the slash mark character. In the Replace with box, type the dash mark. Then click Replace All. Excel will now recheck each cell and automatically convert the values into real dates. If you open the filter drop-down again, you will see the dates grouped by year and month. 
converting text into real dates is very important when analyzing data using formulas or pivot tables. Now that secret dates hack. Are clear, let's continue to the next topic. Regional date fix. These dates are actually in the month day year format. For example, this date here is meant to be January 2nd, 2025, but Excel converted it to 2nd January, 2025. This happens because we're in India, where the regional format is day.month.year. To fix this, we'll use another powerful Excel tool. First, select all the date cells. Now go to the Data tab on the ribbon and click Text to Columns. In step one of the wizard, choose Delimited and click Next. We don't need to change anything in step two, so click Next again. In step three, under Column Data Format, select Date and choose the format the data is currently using, MDY. Click Finish. Excel instantly converts the dates into your local regional format, in my case, day, month, year. Using text to columns is a very handy way to fix date issues. And between this method and the find and replace trick, you can clean up almost any date formatting problem in Excel. That's it for today's Excel tips. We covered unique counts, dynamic dropdowns, navigation tricks, quick formulas, paste special shortcuts, and date fixes all designed to speed up your workflow. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials.